All right, so what's up everyone? As you can tell, the depression for Mustang Week has set in for everybody from everybody's post. But like I said, I told you I would bring you more videos and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this around to, I'm pretty sure if you're new to the channel, there's videos that I've already posted before about this car. So if you have any questions, I'm sure all the answers are there. But you can, if you're old to the channel and OG, if you remember this, there is like a bunch of videos on this. And as you can tell, it's in a different car. So, um, give you a little walk around. So, those might seem familiar. They uh, might be from my car, but the owner might say he doesn't know what I'm talking about. It's got an MGW uh, short throw shifter. It's got a Boss ink hood, if anybody remembers that. So, I posted one video and this video for this car was actually meant to be an LS swap but plans for that got changed so this is still the same motor uh, same intake maybe different exhaust yeah. all right so not really different exhaust we'll just cut it off well it's Borla attacks right yeah so what happened to the other body that basically it died? Ah, uh, yeah. So we had a pretty serious leak with it. It was on the roof. It was in the roof behind the windshield. And I got in the car one day and there was four inches of standing water on the driver's side floor. Come to find out, took the headliner down and found out that all of this right here was completely rotted. Mm -hmm. And it just... It, it didn't make sense to try to put a new roof clip in or swap it to the LS car. So it got swapped to the LS car. And then in the process of swapping it, a lot of stuff got redone, relocated. I mean, I'd say it definitely looks better. Uh, versus it's the, got... bi the big key is, is it now has working heat and air conditioning very as of today. Very important when you have a race car. Yeah, especially AC during the summertime. You don't want to be a Fox body owner. <laughs> but I mean, it's pretty much the same car. Just I moved it over, painted some stuff. Yeah. You know, fixed a bunch of things. Things I didn't like with the way I set it up the first time. I think it's much cleaner. Um, see, the AC lines are all new. Basically, everything is kind of, kind of how my car. He's basically working on my car, and then that whole fiasco happened, with I'll explain later in a different video. But you finally had time to kind of clean your car up and, you know, do everything you want with your car, which you plan on getting tuned. Yeah, we're looking at October. And, uh, you want to talk about the body kit that you picked up, or is that, uh... No, we'll hold that okay. for a little bit, because some exhaust stuff has to get done, too. It's So it's not your eBay, you know, Ricer body kit. It's actually a OEM... 9904 body kit for this car. Yep. So, I don't think they still make it anymore any, either, so. I don't think you'd be able to find it anywhere on the planet. Uh, for those people that don't know, this is a 5.4. There's probably a good 20,000 plus in the motor spent money-wise. Yep. Uh, Wilson manifold, throttle body from intake to actually routes all the way down so it's not just a stock 9904 where it sits in the fender well it actually goes down to the Kroger fog light uh, I don't think you can see it from here yeah but I don't feel like getting under the car either but it's no it's about all of this yeah so the splash guard is in the way and this car used to have silver wheels we switched them uh, I had these for sale for like a year didn't want to sell them and then we finally agreed just to trade after begging yeah um so mishimoto i'm sure you guys know that company mishimoto and mmr and mmr and mmr adapter plates ford racing 302 intake 302 intake and then just a bunch of other stuff that I really don't want to go into. Is it have uh, four F O R E uh, fuel reels? Yep. Four fuel system, I believe. 
Yeah. So that's definitely probably the best return style fuel system. Um, a couple of people that I watch on YouTube, you know, they swear by them. That's what I have. Works very well. That's what I have in the Coyote Swap. So before anybody asks, because I know people are going to ask, how did you fit a Boss 302 intake on a 5.4 Navigator motor? Carefully. Carefully. They actually make uh, Adapt. manifold adapter plates. So that's what I use. You got, so every sticker on here is actually has BMR suspension, um, AEM, BBK headers. The BBK headers do fit with this. They fit through a tubular K member by Team Z. Uh, it's got the Viking or UPR performance uh, coilovers. Yep. I think the double adjustable, what I have too. Yep. Uh, Maxim Motorsports. Uh, caster camber Caster kit. camber plates. Uh, BMR control arms, and I believe Team Z in the front. And, Team Z uh, in the front, BMR in the back. So it's, this thing is made up with a lot of parts and suspension and different brands. So, I mean, I've posted videos before. I can always make another talking about it, but this is this is a rundown of the 5.4, and we'll see if it attempts to start. It is possibly out of gas, though. So. Yeah, it's very out of gas. Uh, Moroso tank but very clean much better up a little bit but built not bought of course and then there like i said there's a reason why the ground effects come off yeah so the ground effects we know it's missing uh that will be on there painted silver uh the whole car will probably be painted and possibly down at mustang week next year don't know who's going to drive it or bring it we'll trailer it. trailer probably so hopefully it'll be at the show I know everyone's been asking where this car has been. So basically, here's your answer. When you're doing a lot of other projects for people. Um, yeah, this one got put on the back burner while trying to get Chris's car ready. Some other cars ready to go. Yep. And then finally, once they were out of here, I was able to get some work done on mine. Well, mine was rolled back, not out of here. It, it's a yes. permanent resident. Uh, one of the cool things that they don't make anymore that I can ever find is... The Roush hood struts, so they are actually originally Roush ones. I believe it's probably on the Roush RS1. It's a course of manual, Steeda clutch cable, Ford Racing setup, or whichever you want to call it. This one's a Steeda cable with the UPR adjuster. Okay, UPR, so. So we got some UPR products. Like I said, you got a mixture of a lot of stuff on here. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lots of MMR stuff. Yeah, a lot, good to me. a lot of uh, a lot of engine built stuff from MMR. I remember when this motor was a part being built. Yep. From the red car, put into the red car, taken out of the red car. Um. So before people ask, like I said, it's BBK headers. They fit with a Team ZK member. Tubular always makes it easier. Yep. It's got a BBK B X pipe. Off road X pipe to boil attack. Don't say off-road because of the EPA. It's got catted and it's got like four resonators. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they are, so the exhaust is dumped underneath right now. Um, but that's changing. It's got a spec clutch, uh, I believe a flywheel too, set up on a 
built T four five or T forty five Tremec. It's a Ford Ford Racing flywheel. Okay. And then it's a, a spec stage three six puck clutch. So it's the it's the expensive one. It's ready to go. You know, there's no. It's basically there's only an on and off switch. There's no like in between like mine. But this is it. Um, yeah. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it helps the channel, the algorithm, the new YouTube algorithm, I believe. Uh, also, the battery is in the back. It's an optimum battery. So, if you have any questions on where that is, where that setup is. Make sure you get no dead bodies or condoms in here. Neither one. Just two race helmets because you know you're going to die. Yep. But it's only got two seats. You only need two helmets. Exactly. Oh, yeah. It does have a uh, back seat delete, doesn't it? Yep. It's got the back seat, the Schrader Performance back seat delete. So, just factory seats right now. Yeah, nothing exciting yet, but there will be. But don't mind the duct tape, it keeps it from cracking more. Hey, duct tape works for everything, it's like zip ties. That's right. And, uh, I guess we'll. So, I guess, should we. What happened to my car? Basically, we think. Oh, we know. We know what it is. We need to find out why it did what it did. But I'm not sure if you want to go through that right now or do that on another video. I mean, I don't mind explaining. Um,. So the day before, you went to put the AC in, back it out. Or... We, we'd been having a rough running engine for about a week. And then it finally showed us why it was a rough running engine. When it dropped a valve. And cylinder. Cylinder number seven. Yeah. So we got to take the engine apart. We're going to go with Ford on a couple things. See what they have to say about it. See if we can... Maybe get them to replace the cylinder head with an engine that didn't have very many miles on it. And, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll have it in another video. Yeah, so the, the sad thing is about that is, it was the day before Mustang week, um, backing it out of the garage, the car actually hadn't been really driven, like I said in the previous videos. It's been a part, so it's never had a forced induction application never been on the 85 it's you know it's the simple thing and i've talked to a few people and they said it could be a defect you know it could maybe not but possibility it is it could be the valve spring broke yeah one of those things. With a broken valve spring on the take valve unfortunately it happened so that car will be back apart again and the motor will be taken apart and the head will be fixed or replaced don't know and probably replace all the valve springs anyways and we'll go from there so like i said guys it's gonna do it for this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up definitely helps out a bunch and have any questions about either car put it in the comments below and well i guess be ready for the next video